All right, Amelia, welcome to Hot Intros. If you want to start, look at that camera. Give us an intro of who you are, what you do, why you're awesome. All right, I'm Amelia Taylor. I am a go-to-market advisor. I am helping companies drive revenue through relationships. And side note, I've had one bite of a chicken wing before in my entire life. So this is like a whole new ball game altogether. But I'm ready. I'm, gotta start, I go big or go home, right? Go big or go home, and let's just do the damn thing. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, first wing. This is the warm intro. This one's not spicy. This is a good sauce. We're going to ease you in. Don't worry. Okay. So start with that one. And you can, like, basically just do this. And then kind of like basically corn. Basically do this. Like corn on the cob. Just... <laughs> like corn on the cob. Okay, I'm from the south. I go ahead. Leave a bone in there, y'all. Yeah. I mean, okay. You okay? I'm thriving. All right, first question. If cold calls became illegal tomorrow, how would you sell? How would you advise sales teams to change? Go find people where your buyers live. Go in communities. Go talk to them and be their friend within communities. So if you need a pavilion call. or Slack or... Yeah, or they're a Reddit threat. So say it's like a weird, like... Go where your buyers are. Wherever your buyers are living, go and talk there. Do you want to do sell them right away or build a relationship? Yeah, you or... have to have relationships. That's what I to help people do. Drive revenue through the relationships that you build, but you've got to be able to like nurture those relationships. And it doesn't, it can't be one of those, I'm going to just like jump the gun and I'm not going to hype things up. Like I'm not going to have my team go and hype up a comment I do in a community. Like don't do that. Be authentic. Be a real good human being and actually like show up wanting the relationship to thrive because it'll be. Um, be customer centric, thrive yes. in value, be there to help them. Yeah. Like be helpful, be good. Be nice. Do you think sellers should do that even though cold calls are not illegal right now? I think cold calls can be cut altogether, maybe. Um, I don't think I've cold calls. Do you? My, I have the setting on my phone. My phone doesn't even ring if I don't know the number. You told me that. That's right. So you physically can't cold call me. It's not yeah. awesome. My email inbox is a, a hellscape of like, I, I get like 100 that. emails a day from sellers. That's after the spam filters. Like I, it, Even if you wrote the best cold email in the world. So you think cold emails? What? Yeah. I think the so this is, is a hot take. Even if you wrote the best cold email in the world, there are so many in my inbox, I'm probably not going to see it. True. Like, it's like the thing that I think about. So, what, what would most, you rather have? What's that message? Where would you get, where would you want people Slack? I think it's about build a, like I said, build a relationship, right? Whether it's like yeah. meet someone here and then follow up. Like, it's almost like the, you ever think about like vampires, where it's like a vampire can't go into a house until they're invited in? Okay. Not like, yeah. If they cross over a threshold of a home, they like burst into flames. Those like, are the salespeople on the world. Yeah. So like, you have to be welcomed in before you, you start the conversation. To. You have to be welcomed in, but you also have to like be proactive with starting the like relationship too. Like, hey, knock knock, I want to be in your home because I want to be your friend, in not a creepy way. Yeah. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't show people. up to their house don't, and say I want to be your don't friend. Don't go to people's houses, please. Let's not go from cold calling and um, cold doorbelling. Yeah, let's <laughs> not cold doorbell instead of cold call. Like, please, Lord God Almighty, please don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't try Hot this at take, home. Don't do that. Don't try this at home. But we are right, going to go. Wing number two. This is the cayenne cold call. Cayenne cold call. This is also not that bad. This is a good wing. Well, I the first wing drove my mouth a little, but I'm not going to like talk about it. I don't. Okay, whatever. Just, hey, that's a good bite. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Mmm. I love it. Surviving? I, yeah, thriving. All right. On a discovery call, what is your least favorite question that reps ask? And what is your favorite underrated question that reps should ask more? No, I have a few. A There's people. a lot yeah, of you Give us three. You can give us three. So the hot take is most discovery questions suck? Yeah. Well, it, uh, in a sense, because they're repeating a lot of what the rep should have already put in all these notes. It should be where you're saying, is this like, you know, you're just saying like, is this what, you know, yeah. my rep said, right? Like they put this in our notes, like based off y'all's conversation. And then it looks just better on y'all's behalf, regardless the company, because it's like, oh, they put their shit together because the rep did what they were supposed to do. Do your research, have your shit together. Yes, go look at the person's LinkedIn right before. Like, do your due diligence, do all the things that you're supposed to do, and just be a friend, like, first and foremost, and, like, show up like that. But, the okay, favorite question. Underrated question that people ask. Underrated. Oh. Like, what you don't see very often, but you wish more sales rep would use. What happens if we don't solve for this? Like, what happens if we don't solve for X, Y, Z, whatever it is? Like, that's, like, at the end of the discovery, the right? Coach. It's like, yeah, so, like, if they're kind of giving you the... Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we think. Da, da, da. It's like okay, but 
if we don't solve for it, what happens? And then shut up, see what they say. Listen more than you talk. And I talk a lot, so this has been a very big lesson for me, hot day. Don't talk as much as I do. Um, but beware, that's what, step number one in life or whatever, you know, if you're going, step number one, awareness, or what is it? Whatever it is. I don't, know, I don't know the saying we're going for here. Me either, but it's like, you know. Aware, it sounds good. Step number one, no, aware, be aware. The people know what I'm talking about. No, no. All right. Don't put it in the comments and tell us we are idiots what is for not it? knowing. What is it? it? it what is it? It's, <laughs> yeah, acknowledge. You acknowledge you're aware. Whatever. Let's just do the damn thing. Let's All right. We'll go to the next way. This is I don't the, like uh, the... I don't like it has little This is SDR like tears. Well, I'm about to cry on some SDR tears. This one, yeah, look at this. It's got some mean looking red stuff like on it. I don't like it. I don't like this the This is a mean stuff. one. You ready? Cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. I just swallowed that whole... I think she's right better, maybe. I just it's not gonna spend time I'm on your tongue. It's gonna be like a shot. I just need a shot. I did a shot of that. A shot of chicken wing. That's a new one. I just did a shot of the chicken wing, and like, I think my mouth, my throat's now numb. So Might be a good thing. It's a little confusing feeling. But what you got? Let's talk. All right. What is an underrated sales tool that you think not a lot of people know about, but you think is awesome? Palm sword. And oh no, not. I, that was that. I promise that wasn't a loaded question. I can't <laughs> wink. I'm trying. I didn't mean it that way. And then the other one is. What is the sales tool that everyone talks about that you just, you're like, why? This is a useless tool. Salesforce. Okay. Why? Your CRM. Well, because what are y'all doing in there other than making res? So where are you? Is it Salesforce specific or is it CRM? It's a CRM. Okay. It's a CRM. I mean, the CRM is broken. Everybody knows that they've got to have an admin. What is the tenure of an admin right now? What, 11 months maybe? At nine? I don't know if you have like a Salesforce admin with them. But... That is like, you. there's a better way to have everything in one place, and that's not trying to kind of push things towards you. But, man, I didn't mean it that way. It's a I, good I promise. Thing, but I it's a good thing. <laughs> Check out Calm Store, you guys. A tool that everyone should have. But maybe not a lot of people are talking about yet, besides ours, obviously. Um, like your favorite new tool you've discovered recently? I have discovered. Okay, so I'm, I'm a new Canva girl, and it's been around, right? But I'm learning how to be more creative with a Canva. I think more sales reps should be thinking like marketers. Yep. And when you start getting a little bit more creative with your outreach. Making like, your own your... material. It yeah. forces you to really think. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not creative. Instead of just following a script. Do not follow a script. I mean, sure. Have your outline, right? Yeah. Big believer in that. But if it's a 16, 17-page script, like get out of here. Do not follow that. There's a better way to do it. Like take your little hot takes within of your script and have like your go-to questions that you ask right or like the because that's what people want to talk about like their favorite topic as well themselves so again and talk to people about like what it is that you're trying to like how can i help you just go and show up and help but i yeah no using camera to be creative Canva's be more be, visual yeah people are visual or i mean people are like show don't tell they don't want to go and do the research on things right now do they like no they never did they ever no, I mean, comments is never been common, and let's just say that's the truth, too. So let's just call these little truths truths. It's made a spade. So people don't want to go and do the research on anything. Like, just go be creative with your outreach um, and the way that you're talking to people. They're going to be so much more receptive. And just, like, I don't know. I do it through creative different tools. Canva, I just don't know it well enough, but I'm learning. All right. I'm nervous. Wing number four. This is where it, this is where it escalates. You can tap out at any time. Okay. I'm not tapping out. All right, I'm just, I'm leaving, I'm giving you the door. I don't want to do this, but I'm here. All right, this is your, this is your big wing. Yeah, why don't, why? Mine's, mine's pretty big too. All right, yeah, you, okay. All right, wing number tap, four. Tap if you want to continue, yeah. touch gloves, carry. All right. I did a shot again. I did it as a shot. Oh, wow, well, holy shit. Oh, wow, can I cuss? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, whatever you want. <laughs> Woo, okay, what's next? Let's talk about something. <laughs> Woo, okay. I hated that. Let it, let it sit for a second. Let I don't it soak like in. That. All right. I hated that. Stuff. <laughs> the heck up. Lots is changing in the world of B2B sales right now. <laughs> the future looks very interesting and the unknown. Let's talk. Keep going. What are you most excited about for the future over the next five years of where B2B sales is heading? It's going um, towards partnerships and community, and it's not going towards what sales has always been. And I think a lot of people are realizing, like, that's where relationships are, like, get the relate. I hate this. This is not, like, that was hell. Next one's worse. No, it's not. Yeah. 
This is so, why are you doing this to me? Why? You volunteered. Why? Who are you? I hate you. I'm just kidding. I think you're amazing. No, that's fine. You're welcome to hate me after this. What was the question? Uh, future of B2B sales, what you're most excited about. Ah! Moving towards partnerships and community. It burns. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I'm done with my... All right. Yeah. Should we just go to the next question? Uh-huh. Power through. Is it really this hard? Yeah, the next one's worse. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll take a big bite. I'll take a big bite if you take a big bite. No, I won't take a big bite. Right. Well, I hate this right now. <laughs> I hate every bit of it. Ooh, okay. You ready? No. All right. Let's do it. I don't want to. I did a shot. I mean, I did it like a shot. It's a new way of doing wings. Wings by the shot. Shot wings, yeah. I took a baby bite, I'm not gonna lie. This one takes a little while. This one's a slow burn. Uh -huh. I feel like if you put like, like something on your tongue, kinda yeah, like. Yeah, that one really got me in the back of the throat there. Are you struggling? I'm struggling, but Do you want me to I'm... ask you a question? No, 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 you can flip it after the last question. Okay. I'm not struggling uh, right now. I feel like I'm thriving in life. Going with, what's it take? You see lots of influencers on LinkedIn sharing. You think it's just objectively wrong. They're, Not just like they're bad, ten, wrong. They're, they're 10 ways to do whatever the hell it is that they say they're going to do. Like, here's the top 10 ways to go reach your buyer. Or here's the top 10. Um, the surface level oversimplification only, yes, advice. Or to some people, one way is this way. And it's like, here's how you are going to go sell today. Great. Here's my 10 things. Well, verse for one person does not work for everyone. Else. It's lacking the context of the industry, the buyer. Oh, product. it does hurt. Yeah. The more you talk, the worse it gets. <laughs> ah, don't like this at all. Y'all, don't all right. do this at home. So no, no simple top ten lists. Get no, real. like get rid of your ten list. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do the five wings. Don't do the top ten list. Don't do any of <laughs> hey, it. Hey, it's only five wings, not ten. It could have been worse. I. It could have been worse. This was worse. You did it though. I'm proud of you. I did it. I'm, did a, it. I'm amazing. I did All it. Right. Oh, you're amazing. Before we end, look at that camera and you can either give your last hot take, your last tip, or something cool that you're working on that you want people to know about. Ooh, okay. Or all three. So I am helping companies, like I said at the beginning, helping them grow their revenue through relationships that they're building for long term growth. And that's under the whole umbrella of community, whatever that means to the company. So talk to me and we will chat about your community growth and what that means for y'all. All right. One last Amen. Six, wait, six question for what? after the credits. What? You said community a lot. How do you define community? Wow. What a question to ask with my mouth burning right now. What is community to, um, okay, community, we're here right now at Pavilion's event. That's community. But community can also be a Reddit thread that people are talking about because that's like, their community of manufacturers, whatever they may be. Oh, you drink water. I was not going to drink water till you drank water. It actually makes it worse. Okay. It makes it better for a split second, but then it makes it worse after. Is that so okay? it's very short-term thinking of me, which is not very community-led. Community is long-term thinking. Community is long-term. Drinking water is the opposite. Community... <laughs> I hate this. Community <laughs> is, is relationship-driven, and it's being with the peers that can be your buyers, but you're just learning and growing with people, but you gotta ask for feedback. You gotta go talk to people. My mouth burns, I can't talk anymore. I'm right, done, you did it. I'm out. You did it, good job. Hot take, I'm done. Good job. I hated it. Uh, well, love you, you did. love you, hate it. All good. It.